what is good y'all and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all man As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video We are going on a nice little POV drive in Vader It is currently 19 degrees outside So I'm probably not going to be doing any crazy pulls or anything like that I'm just letting you guys know before I even wrote an intro So, so if you want to watch the video, watch the video If you don't want to watch the video I'm just letting you know now so you can go ahead and click off now i'm a real one but anyway um if you haven't already subscribe to the channel hit that like button for the kid man and if you are in the live chat bro drop a comment in the live chat right now give this video a thumbs up let me know you're in the live chat man no cap but um yeah man so let's go ahead and roll that intro and we'll get straight into this banger know what we got to do in an underpass huh, sounds so good it sounds so good but anyway so what's good y'all man as you guys know it's cold as hell outside so like I said I probably can't do too many pulls I'll probably try and do like a little 50 for y'all real quick and I'm leaving traction on bro I'm not even finna fuck it we gonna go 40 I know I'm a spin. We're gonna ease into it. Fuck no. Fuck no. Traction control is on, y'all. <laughs> this is exactly why I said there's probably not gonna be too many pulls in this video because I'm not gonna hook. I know I'm not gonna hook. If you guys see Monday's video, then you guys would know I'm not gonna hook either. <laughs> but anyway, man, um, I had a comment on Monday's video actually, and bro was saying that, you know, he would be interested in seeing some story time POVs. And I thought that was a great idea. And he already gave me the idea for the first story time. So let's get into it, man. Basically, he was saying he'd like to know how I got into YouTube, what made me start a YouTube channel, and you know, what really made me start doing social media. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. I've been doing YouTube since 2017. Um, for those of you who have been a part of the J.I. squad since the very beginning, I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. This channel actually started off as a two-man channel. It was ran by myself and another one of my homeboys named Frankie. Um, you guys have seen him on this channel numerous of times. He has the Chevy SS Holden that I just put up on the screen. Um, before that, he had a BMW and an Infiniti, and that's kind of what we started the channel on. Now, when we started this channel, I actually had a 1998 Toyota Avalon. That's right, you heard me. 1998 Toyota Avalon. That's the car that I had, and that's the car that I was doing modifications to to bring content to you guys. Now, summer of 2017, um, me and my boy Frankie decided that we just weren't seeing eye to eye with the channel and that it would be best if I took over the channel and started running it as what you guys see today, J.I. Productions. Now, with that being said, when we made that decision, I went ahead and I picked up my very first Camaro, my V6 Hazel. Um, it was a 2011 V6 5th Gen um, Camaro that I had got from auction. Um, it was a salvage title car, so I had did a rebuild on it, brought it back to life, and then I went crazy with the modifications on that car. A lot of you guys know me from my cat delete video with that car, um, and that's how you guys found my channel. That cha that video blew up. When I say that video blew up, I mean that video blew up. I think it's still the most viewed video on my channel to date. That's how well that video did, and that was back in like 2018. We're in 2024 now, so just to give you guys an idea of, you know, A, how long I've been doing this, and B, how big that video was for the channel. Um, now, that all that being said, what really made me want to do YouTube? So, before YouTube and before social media, for real, I was a basketball player, man, you know. Just like every other kid had my NBA hoop dreams, you feel me? Um, but 
those were taken from me when I hosted a basketball tournament on my birthday at my house um, and I ended up getting injured that day some dude ended up pushing me out of the air and I ended up landing wrong and I tore my meniscus not completely but damn near completely so that being said since I tore my meniscus I had to get surgery once I got surgery I lost everything um, and I was on bed rest for about six months I had already been like a car enthusiast. I already loved cars. I was already into cars. While I was on bed rest, I was literally watching automotive YouTubers all day, every day, such as TJ Hunt, such as Street Speed 717, Tall Guy Car Reviews. Like, I was watching Adam LZ. Like, I was watching straight car enthusiasts, car channels all day, every day while I was on bed rest, while I was going through therapy, everything, this shit kept me sane. So when I got back mobile and I was able to move around and do stuff again, I was like, you know what? If they can start a YouTube channel at such a young age. <laughs> Dude, that thing spun, but I wanted to give it a little gas for y'all underneath the tunnel. But damn, yeah, we're not doing any pulls, bro. No wide open throttle pools. But anyway, um, I was like, man, these guys are young. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're not too much older than me. Like, if they can start a YouTube channel, why can't I? And so, literally, I got with my boy Frankie. My boy Frankie, at the time, he was the only one that knew how to edit and, and film. He's the only one that had a camera, all of that. So, bro literally taught me how to edit. Bro taught me how to shoot videos and shit like that. All of that. Um, and we ended up starting the channel. Um, and like I said, you know, we just ended up having a falling out and weren't seeing eye to eye with the channel. And so I took over the channel. Um, honestly, though, like, I'm really like an introverted person. I really don't like, I'm not the loudest in the room unless I'm comfortable. Like, unless I'm around the homies, the real homies that I've been had. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't really like being in the center of attention and shit like that, bro. Like, I don't know. So getting on YouTube and becoming a YouTuber and becoming a social media influencer, bro, definitely has taken a lot of adjusting. Um, it's taken a lot of work, a lot of, you know, things that I wouldn't be used to normally. I had to basically normalize, like people coming up to me in public and saying, what's up, knowing my name already, people recording my car when I'm driving, like stuff like that. Like I'm not, I'm not used to that. I didn't grow up in an environment like that. Like you know what I'm saying. Where I, where I'm from, like somebody looking at you too hard or somebody walk up on you is because they got a problem and it's some smoky. I gotta clear the air. You know what I'm saying. Nowadays, people coming up to me saying what's up, saying hi, asking for pictures, autographs, and stuff like that. Like although it's an amazing, dope feeling, it definitely has taken some getting used to for sure. 100%. I can't lie to y'all. Um, but I love the support and I appreciate it more than you guys know. Um, but yeah. So, like, why did I do YouTube, bro? Like, for real? Like, in goal, like, in reason, though? Other than the fact that I've seen other people doing it? Solely because of the simple fact that, bro, like, I just wanted to show people that were like me, like-minded as me. Um, you know what I'm saying? Same age as me, stuff like that. That this is obtainable. Your dreams are obtainable as long as you put in the work. You can buy whatever car you want to buy as long as you're willing to put in the work to get that car. Buying the car is the first step. Maintaining and keeping the car is the real, real task. You feel me? Uh, you got to be able to keep the car on the road so when hiccups come up like a blown drive shaft when you just bought the car or or a blown clutch when you just bought the car all of that you feel me you got to be ready for it and i just wanted to show people that man look contrary to the belief bro this car stuff isn't always daisies and roses you're gonna have months and weeks where you're chasing your tail trying to find and resolve an issue and you still don't get that issue resolved. Like, it's going to be days where your car is down on end. 
Because, you know what I'm saying, you did a modification and the guy told you it was going to take 10 minutes, but then a boat stripped. He ain't mentioned nothing about that. Or you got a rusted boat. He ain't mentioned nothing about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just wanted to start a YouTube channel and show people the ins and the outs, the goods and the bads about YouTube, man, and being a YouTuber. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not always sweet. My bad, y'all. I ended up hitting the lock button. But yeah, like, I really started my channel solely so that I could show people, you know, anybody can do it as long as you're willing to do it. You know what I'm saying? Now, what do you mean, J.I., by willing to do it? Like, as long as you're willing to put in the work, you'll be fine, bro. Like, you can get that car. You can, you can get that house. You can get whatever it is that you're dreaming about. As long as you're willing to put in the work, bro. So that's why I picked up a camera. I just decided to show you guys my journey, you know? Document it, not only just for y'all, but also for me. Like when I get older, I can show these videos to my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like when I get older, I can look back at these videos and be like, damn, I accomplished something that I thought that I couldn't at one point, you know? That's, that's why I make these videos. It's not only just for you guys' entertainment, but it's also, like, my memoirs, you know? That's, you know, like, sometimes I go back to my delivery day video on Mamba. Sometimes I go back to my delivery day video on Reaper, on Hazel, on Ivy, on um, on Vader. Like, I, I really be going back to these videos just so that I could get that feeling again, you know? That feeling of... Oh, bro, get out of the way. Like, what are you doing? That feeling of, oh, I accomplished something. You know what I mean? That's why I make these videos. Um, That's really why I got into the YouTube space for real. Is because, you know, the internet is a good place and a bad place. But at the end of the day, whatever is posted to the internet, you could delete it if you want to. But it's still there forever. Somebody could have possibly made a copy. Somebody didn't seen it. Like, it is what it is. So I feel like, you know, instead of... Loading up my phone, my photo album with all of these videos and pictures and stuff. Why not I make a YouTube channel and have that be my history book? You know what I'm saying? Have that be my journey. At the end of the day, bro, we're put on this earth to build a legacy, to leave a legacy. That's what we want. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we want to be remembered by our peers and the people that are next to come for the good that we did. And so I just feel like this is the best way for me to leave my legacy is these videos, pouring my heart and my soul into these videos, making them entertaining for y'all, achieving things that I thought that was unachievable at one point in life and, you know, just the growth. So I hope that answers your question, bro. But that's really why I made my YouTube channel. It wasn't for the monetary benefit. It wasn't for the fame. It wasn't to be able to gloat and say, oh, I've got X amount of subscribers or woo woo Nah, man, like I, I made my YouTube channel because I wanted to have my history laid out. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why I made my, my YouTube channel because I wanted to have my history laid out. That's why my company is called BYL, which stands for Build Your Legacy because at the end of the day, we've all been put on this earth to make our mark on this earth. And the only way you're going to make your mark on this earth is by starting today and doing the things that A, people said you couldn't do, B, people said you wouldn't do, and C, the things that you thought that you couldn't do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, that's, like I said, I hope that answered your question, bro. I really do. If it didn't, drop a comment, man, and, you know, I'll try to go in more depth with you, and, you know what I'm saying, maybe we have a little conversation over Instagram or something like that and I can better explain it but yeah man that's why I started my YouTube channel um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time vlog um, if you guys like videos like this you got more topics that you want me to touch on go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below like bro did I read all of my comments I try to get back to every last one of them whether it be in a video form whether it be in comment form i try to respond to everybody so don't be afraid to leave your comment don't be afraid to ask that question ask it bro you never know you might get a 10 minute video response 
you might get a 10 message thread response out of me on the YouTube in the comments. You never know. So ask that question. Drop it in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you're notified every time that I upload. And give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.